Good morning, dear fellow miners. Welcome to Concave 101. My name is Professor Pipo, and I'm going to guide you through this class. Before we start, I'd like to let you know that this content is intended to help newcomers to have a better understanding of Concave, its genesis and objectives and how to be involved efficiently in Concave's community. The authors are not professional financial advisors, just strong and dedicated believers in the Concave project. The explanations disclosed here are simplified. Understanding this video is only the first step of a long walk towards freedom. Please be aware that wag me, in other words, we're all gonna make it. You're about to enter the wonderful world of DeFi and DAOs. But first things first. What is DeFi and DAOs? In the ancient world, finance is highly centralized. Banks, financial institutions and a small number of decision makers are the ones controlling the system. Needless to say, that most of the decisions are not made for the greater good. Decentralized finance, or DeFi, on the other hand shapes a new financial landscape. Based on blockchains, this revolutionary paradigm spreads the power across citizens allowing equity and transparency. Quite better, isn't it? In the world of DeFi, DAOs are the new big thing. They shape DeFi 2.0 by not being only decentralized but also autonomous. In a nutshell members agree on smart contracts, which are basically protocols with open source codes. The voted smart contracts will be the DAOs governance rules. Thereby, the DAO will serve its members' interests and its members' interests only. To sum it up, the system will be transparent, fully democratic, secure and trustless, and will allow no hidden master of puppets. And there's way more to cry about for CFI. Before going any deeper, let's explain some crypto basics. Stablecoins are cryptocurrencies which value is pegged to conventional currencies, dollar mainly, in order to assure a certain stability. The underlying problem here is that the dollar itself loses a certain percentage of its value each year because of inflation, dragging down stablecoins with it. Now here comes the real game changer. Olympus is a DAO which is stablecoin, the OHM, is not backed or pegged to any conventional financial institution, but relies on its own fully backed reserve treasury, consisting of a pool of different cryptocurrencies. This allows Olympus to have a full control on its currency mainly through three leverages of buoyancy. First, when the stakeholder's percentage goes down, APR goes up which avoids any kind of inflation. Secondly, if price were to plummet, Olympus will burn OHM to ensure it remains certain level, and certainly above $1. Finally, the bonding mechanism ensures incomes in exchange of discount OHM. Basically you loan crypto to Olympus, and you get OHM at lower price 5 days later. This is truly the future of DeFi. Once you own OHM, you have three options. The first one is to stake it on Olympus. This will ensure better yield for everyone. The second one is to bond it, which will grant you discount OHM. And the third one is to sell it. This will not only reduce OHM price and value, but also affect its confidence level. To see how each decision affects the system, we can affect impact values as follow. We can then plot those factors into a game theory table, and the outcomes are positive 4 times out of 9, neutral 4 times out of 9, and negative only once over 9. This creates a positive environment where collaboration is key to everyone's success. Due to its success, Olympus has inspired many DAOs, called forks. While some of them are legit and innovative, others are just co-formed copies or even scams. Forks can complement the ecosystem or compete with it by diluting it and fragmenting it. Apart from forks, DeFi 2.0 has many other actors that I recommend to familiarize with to see the bigger picture, starting with inverse finance. But back to forks, guys. What if Professor Pipo tells you that there's another alternative to competition and division? Would you choose the fork or the spoon? Concave has clearly made its choice and is aiming to be the spoon to rule them all. But what is this newcomer trying to achieve you may ask? Concave's communication about its project has been cryptic so far. Members are frequently invited to theorize. Today's class is not intended to speculate beyond what has been officially communicated by the Concave core team. We will let you make your own mind about the following trails left by Concave on its Twitter account. Is Concave really the child of Olympus and Inverse Finance? 
is concave trying to strengthen the stability for OHM forks and organic demand for DOLA, or is it the result of their joint forces, maybe both? Is concave bundling multiple forks and returning their value back to OHM if so, how? Overall is concave simply the greatest memes competition ever? But how can I get involved in the concave community you may ask? First things first, start by joining the concave community on Twitter to stay informed about opportunities to join the real cave, the Discord channel. Invite links are tricky, and the mining work starts right here. Once you get into the cave, you'll have to mine your way to the top of the roles list. Nine roles are to be mined, and some are way harder than others. Here is a list of short descriptions of the tasks to complete to stack the roles. And remember, all roles matter. In addition to the previous list, other tasks can be performed to help make the cave a better place for all. Most of them will require cooperation and teamwork. You could for example help translate important documents, add to the community's culture, memes are highly appreciated, or you can just hang out and make new friends. Of course there are rules to keep the community pleasant for all. You are highly advised to go check on them before getting sent to the troll pit. If you manage be of the very few to gather the nine rolls, you'll become a spoon master, and maybe the mine will reward you. Well my dear students, I hope this class has brought enlightenment over the darkness surrounding your world. Are you now ready to escape?